Hey, how's it going, people who watch my videos, Narnians, Pride members, whatever you want to call yourselves? We are back with more of Oblivion, and we left off last over here, right outside the gates of Mania and Dementia. And a lot of you said to either go through, or not either go through, but a lot of you guys said Mania, because it kind of sounds like Narnia, I guess. But uh, an overwhelming majority of people were saying uh, to definitely go with Mania. Unfortunately, I don't remember which one is which. Um... Gates of Madness, blah blah blah. That's not the right quest. Over here, I have to uh, the key to Mania and the key to Dementia, and go through either door. Well, I guess we just have to go to the each or the end of each hallway. I think Mania is actually up on the left over here. So let's go ahead and Mania entrance to Gates of Madness. All righty, let's do it. Open with key to Mania. Whoa, crazy! That is just phenomenal. My mic is like way far away from my. Uh, computer monitor today because my mic stand is in a weird position, but I've entered the Shivering Isles. I should uh, seek out Shale Gorath. And that's because I am lazy. It did not feel like uh, adjusting the mic stand once again after adjusting it to go and play on the Xbox, which I don't normally do. And there's some stuff over there. Those are golden people. I'm pretty sure they're not a threat to me, so... Yeah, what was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, maybe it's because Mania is so much better looking than Dementia. You can see Dementia is like over there kind of. The trees get all shitty and whatnot. But we're heading over to this place in the middle here. Which is New Shayoth Palace. And I guess, assuming there's stuff to do on, the, on this main path over here, we'll go ahead and walk all the way around. Because if you try to cut across here, there's a lot of scary creatures that'll try and fuck you up. So we'll go ahead and stick to this side of things. And hopefully not run into bullshit. Hopefully I can stave off death long enough to the point where, you know, I won't wind up getting my ass kicked all the time. I really don't feel like sneaking all the way to where it is I need to go because I'll just take forever, so... We'll go ahead and run. I don't care. I wish I had an invisibility spell. I'm sure I will at some point. And speaking of spells and whatnot, I should work on uh, doing some more Mages Guild stuff in the future. And I didn't even realize that the path went right through this tree thing. Whoa, frame drop. It's kind of weird stuff loading up there. I think it's because I adjusted the uh, frame rate that I wanted Fraps to record stuff at. Might have to change that. Eh, it's looking pretty good right now. But aside from that, uh, honestly, that doesn't even count as a good frame drop to me. Good frame drop is one that makes me stop the recording and have to delete other shit on my hard drive and move stuff around and possibly restart my computer to get the frames to cooperate. And that is not what just happened. That was just a little stutter as uh, the game keeps on loading up the Shivering Isles here. But I haven't had one of those serious frame drops once since getting the new hard drive and recording all my stuff to that hard drive, so... That has made me very happy. I feel like I'm in a much better mood when I'm recording now because I don't have to worry about shit going wrong. And that thing over there just fucked up my mood. Look at that ugly piece of shit. Uh, Oh, I missed it. Oh, well. Let's try that again. Probably gonna miss. And... Oh, I got it! I got that sad sack of shit over there. Oh my god, that thing is horrifying. This thing is terrifying. I don't even remember this thing in the game. Oh, no. Oh, no. At least I can backpedal like it's nobody's business. This thing is going to die before it even gets to me. One more error after this, and I think it'll die. And it's dead. Ew. I think it had like a seizure when it died. <laughs> Look at this. This is like where they started thinking, hey, maybe we could make a post-apocalyptic game like uh, Fallout. Maybe we could do Fallout 3. This is what Bethesda was thinking when they made this thing. We could probably make some pretty ugly shit if we were given the opportunity to do so in the right game to, you know, make those creatures, you know, fit in. Because if you tried to make those kinds of, like, nasty creatures fit in with Oblivion, it just wouldn't work. Oblivion is too pretty to be, uh, full of nasty shit like that. Although Oblivion has its fair share of nasty stuff, but... Okay, I got some more combat music here. Who wants to attack me? Anybody? I wish I was at higher ground so I could see what's going on here. Oh, God. Oh god, who's trying to kill me now? Feels like it might be somebody who's really slow because the battle music has been going on for a while. And I don't see a single enemy. Let's jump up here. Alright, we're kind of safe up here to be honest. I don't see any bad guys whatsoever. Oh shit, I hear something. And, are you kidding me? Does this guy even count? Actually, he looks like he uh, has some decent defense on him right there. Really need to get some better items in the near future because we've been rocking the same steel bow for quite some time now, and I should probably repair it to be honest. Go ahead and shoot at you, and oh my god, you cannot be serious. Did I really just run out of arrows? I was just thinking about that. Okay, I have some. Wow, I have a lot more. What the hell? That's weird. I was just thinking about that too. Like, wow, you know what? I'm kind of. I, I've been using arrows nonstop and haven't really replenished them in a while, but thankfully my obsessive 
arrow buying has paid off over time. Oh, it was the gatekeeper arrows. That explains it. Okay. That's why I was, like, closing in on arrows there. All right. Well, that's good to know. Let's go ahead and repair stuff while I am thinking about doing so. So that way I don't forget, which I will probably do a lot. Whoa, that bow definitely needs to be repaired. Didn't break a single repair hammer right there, I don't think. That's good. Well, further uh, further along here. Hey, we're kind of getting there. It's probably going to take us this whole recording session to get down there, but I don't mind. A little random grinding and killing stuff never hurt anybody. Plus, we might run into an uh, an area that'll you know lead to a quest. There's a cave over there. Don't really feel like messing with that cave right now, though, to be honest. Eh, where am I going? I don't know if I should go. Oh, it's probably right over here, huh? Which path is the main one? It's hard to say. This doesn't look like the main one. Yeah, that just kind of leads me back. It's all twisty and turny now. Yeah, I'm glad that you guys decided we go with Mania, because Dementia is honestly kind of depressing. It's all gloomy and nasty. This is pretty colorful. I like it a lot. Shivering Isles is all around a very awesome DLC. If they do something like this for Skyrim, where they add on like an, a completely different realm... Like, some of you were talking about how um, in Skyrim, if you look far away enough on like the farthest render setting or whatever, then you can see... Oh, God. Let me jump up here, game. Let me jump up here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me get up here. Oh, no. He can hit me from right there. Holy shit. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Look at him. Look at him over there. Ow. Okay, he can hit me from right there. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Look at this high ground I got. Suck my ass thing. Stupid spider, whatever you are. I don't even know what this thing would be called. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Okay, good. Alrighty. Alrighty. That's good. Yeah, if they added in, uh, like, Morwind or something, or Cyrodiil, the ability to go there for, like, a DLC or an add-on that mobs or mods make, you know, like a, a mod, maybe, doesn't even have to be a DLC, that would be pretty sweet. And I'm sure there's already people actually working on that, too, and I need to heal up here. Ow, what the... Oh, okay, this guy's a dick. This guy's a complete asshole about stuff. Um, potions. Let's go ahead and... Unbelievable. I only have one potion of healing. Well, I guess that'll get the job done, huh? And he's dead. <laughs> wow. Probably didn't even need to use that potion. Whatever. Yeah, these creatures are just nasty looking. What the hell is that? Elytra uh, Ikor? I don't even know. That's a scary name to try and pronounce. Let's go ahead and stop sneaking around. Although sneaking would be better. It would just take too long roaming from city to city. And I do wish I had Shadowmere with me. That would be really cool. Shadow Mirror would be good to have right now. Because then I can just ride past all the bullshit that I find. Alrighty. Eh, we're kind of nearing the halfway mark. It's better than nothing, I suppose. I imagine eh, halfway through this recording session we'll make it there. We'll get to where it is we're trying to go. Alrighty. Feel like we have gone a decent amount here without finding any enemies, so one's bound to be nearby. Go ahead and sneak our way over here to the main path again. But yeah, if they added another DLC like this for Skyrim, which I assume they will, I would not be surprised if they did. That would not surprise me in the least if they were deciding to uh, add in another massive expansion DLC like Shivering Isles and all that stuff. That would be fun. And speaking of DLC, I still have a shit ton to get done during uh, this particular LP here. Looks like we're going up here. Although this might be a shortcut. Although it might also lead to death. I don't know. Hopefully this path right here leads us, you know to uh, where we're trying to go. New Shayoth, is that it? Yeah, New Shayoth Palace. Hopefully... Oh, I see now. I see now. Okay. Man, it would have been faster to take this this path right here. This is like the long way. Oh, well. I guess we're taking this route. It's better than nothing, I suppose. You can almost just load that save and blah de blah but that'll just waste some progress. What the hell? Random floaties just went in my screen. That's weird. Stuff is loading up. Yeah, it seems like frames just kind of stutter a little bit when things are loading. And hey, look, a town. Maybe we'll get a quest from this place. That'd be nice. I don't even know if I've ever been to this town before in this uh, DLC. I haven't really done too much with Shivering Isles other than uh, beat a few quests here and there. And I don't remember even what happens during the main Shivering Isles quest or whatever. Actually, I may have been here. Yeah, this place actually there looks would be familiar. More oh shit! To count if someone would get rid of all the doubles around here. What the hell are you talking about, man? Doubles. Not enough corpses around here, but there should be. Those stupid manics. They ruin everything. If only I knew what you were talking about. He can tell you what to do. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being nice there, randomly after being really mad. That was. 
See you. Strange. See, now she's all, like, normal and shit. All right, who do so I have to I talk to? Still is that guy, then there's a bunch of other people. Let's go ahead and open up our uh, quest inventory here. Figure out what the dealie is. Great Divide, a resident of Split, has told me I should speak with Horkvir Beararm to help solve the problem of all the doubles in this town. There are two Horkvir Beararms in town, so I can speak to either one. Okay, activate that. Get a quick save going, just so we don't lose all this progress. Heal a little bit, and uh, let's see, we can talk to the Horkvir over here. Or the other one that was probably closer to where I was before, but eh, whatever. We're already here. My double is always working. It takes all my energy just watching him work. It's got to stop. So you're lazy, huh? Let's talk. It's a problem, all these doubles walking around. And it's tiresome. Didn't used to be like this. Well, then, uh, what happened? Some blasted mage had a theory. They've always got theories. He thought there was a manic and a demented in each of us. So what does he do? What else? Casts a spell. You can see how well that went. Two of each of us walking around this place. Nothing we can do about it either. There's a law about that here. Been to the Hill of Suicides? Not a nice place. But you might be able to help. You think so? What can I do? Yeah, I vaguely remember this quest. I feel like I've played it before. It's starting to come back to me now. Only one group can stick around. Either we demented or those blasted manics. It's the only way we'll find any peace. You get rid of those manics, all of them. If you can take care of that for me, I'd make it worth your while. Is that so? I'll do it. Let me think about it. All righty, yeah, so. Yeah, whatever. This whole conversation has worn me out. Just stay away from the other Horkvir. Eh, I think I'm going to talk he to him. He might offer you the same deal. But that guy is crazy. Trust me. Oh, really? Right after he's talking about having me kill everybody, and you know, all of a sudden the other guy's crazy if he's going to want me to kill everybody. Because you guys chose uh, Mania, I think I'm just going to help the Manix over here kill all the demented people, so why the hell not? Where's the other Hork beer? I know he's around here somewhere. Did I just completely walk past him? I might have. Oh, he's over here. I'd get more work done if it weren't for my layabout double living in town. Why are you looking at the ground, bud? Why are you... Oh, it's probably because he was hoeing stuff or whatever over there. Terrible drain on productivity. Never know who's who. It's been a problem for too long. Is that so? What happened? A wizard did it, stupid layabout mage. Yeah, I already We're heard about all this bullshit. What can I do? Get rid of that demented bunch. Useless anyway. Don't get a lick of work done around this town. All right, sure, why not? I'll do it. Good. Yay! A little hard work will do you some good. Just get rid of those demented freaks, and we'll all be happier. And stay away from us Mannix. You kill any of us by accident, you won't be getting anything from me. Yeah, whatever. I really wouldn't care <laughs> at all Bye. if I ended up killing the wrong people. You know, it's not a big deal. Like, it doesn't alter my fate in any way, shape, or form. I might lose some money on it, but... I don't care. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Go ahead and go over here. Save. Hopefully I can kill him. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that was weird. Hopefully I can kill him with one shot. Okay, apparently. Apparently he can't die in one shot. Well, we'll see here. He, uh, he seems to mean business. My god. This guy over here. He's kind of stuck right there. Hopefully he just stays there. That'll be good. He's having like a seizure of the arm there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh man, look at this guy. <laughs> What a what a guy! That, this guy is being a real guy right now. You see this guy? Unbelievable. He he sucks. <laughs> oh well, one of the benefits of uh, being an archer in Oblivion, I suppose, is jump around and backpedal and glitch out the NPCs and be a complete dick about it. I don't care. I mean, normal difficulty seems to be a bit more difficult on Oblivion. Like Skyrim was kind of a crutch for me. It was like this game is a bit easier, and I'm playing on master difficulty for Skyrim and. Not been having too much trouble. Like, the highest difficulty on this game, Oblivion, would just destroy me. However, your bear arm uh, living on the dementia side of Split is dead. Alrighty. Cool. Now, who else can I kill? Let's go ahead and quick save once again. Will these guys uh, be aware of my deed? I don't think so. Cool. Are you the uh, demented guy? You're working for the Mannix. Now, I really don't like you. You look weird anyway, stupid cat. If you've got Stupid cats, even though I'm a cat as well. 
Uh, can I just kill all of them, like, outright? Is that going to be a problem? I'm just wondering what will happen if I kind of be a complete dick about stuff. Where is he going? Is he trying to run back to his house? Does he even have a house? God, this guy is pretty good at maneuvering at the last second. Oh, he picked up the, the guy's dagger. Wow. What a sack of crap. Don't hurt you. You just picked up a dagger and tried to kill me. You sack of crap. You're so dead. You're so dead. Oh, one more arrow. And he's dead. Look at that headshot. Well, that guy's dead. Oh, look at all that skooma. Jeez, dude. 